Hello everybody. I did a monarch butterfly back in September, I believe, and asked a question about whether you'd like me to do more, and I got a lot of positive feedback. And one of the biggest requests was for a blue morpho. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, there's quite a few different types of blue morpho uh, butterflies. This is the one that I liked the best when I searched. So when I'm doing a, uh, a creature like this, uh, wood burning, I like to trace out the, the outlines so I get it really accurate. Um, and then I'll well, you'll see. I'll fill it in uh, more freehand style with the wood burner and with the colors. This wood burner is uh, a Detail Master Saber 4, uh, which I think is no longer made. But it's got interchangeable uh, pens, and this one is a, a writing tip. Probably my all-time favorite tip is the writing tip. It's the most versatile. But if you're into wood burning or want to get into wood burning, uh, I would recommend getting a, a wood burning system that has adjustable heat. That way you can really control your lines a lot better without getting the big splotchy burns. And you can see me uh, practicing my movements before I actually uh, set the, the the tip to the wood. It just makes the the burning a little bit more smooth and also helps to avoid the blotching or the deep burning. But if you're doing this and, and you do make the the mistake of a, a blotch or a deeper darker burn than you want, just scrape it off. Just take a razor blade to it pretty easy fix. And what you see me doing here is stippling and it's just filling in a, a fairly large area just using uh, little dots that burn uh, a texture into the wood as well as darken it. And hopefully what this will do is give the art a little bit of separation from the wood when you're looking at it when it's complete. Maybe bring it to life just a little bit. That's the goal. It's also nice to to be able to feel the texture as you run your fingers across it when it's done. It's kind of tedious work. It takes a while, but it's worth the effort. Now just like on the uh, Monarch butterfly plaque, uh, I put the caterpillar on the back and that's what I'm doing here. The caterpillar for this blue morpho is just amazing. Just a, it, It's just as beautiful, if not more beautiful, than the butterfly itself. 
so many colors and it's really interesting it's covered with little little hairs uh, red white brown orangey some almost gold looking just amazing and these little hairs apparently have allergens in them that, that are very uh, well they, they cause quite a bit of irritation so as tempting as it would be to pick this guy up and let it crawl around on you uh, it's not advisable Apparently they carry the uh, the allergen or poison with them uh, when they turn into butterflies, so they are actually poisonous. Pretty interesting. My first thoughts about uh, coloring in this butterfly was to use the same colored pencils. Um, And I'll do that for the highlights around the, uh, the outer wing area where the whites and reds are. But I got all of my, my blue colored pencils out and, and tested them. And I just couldn't get the radiance or the, the iridescence uh, or whatever it's called uh, that, the, that the wings uh, look like. Different. I mean, they, they're just amazing. Uh, they look different at different angles. Uh, anyways, I just couldn't mimic it with the pencils. I meant to show all of this, but the camera wasn't on. Sorry. Uh, you can see the paper there where I, I was searching for the right color. Uh, what I ended up uh, deciding was to dig into some of my uh, pigments, the, the mica powders that I have for resin casting. I'm still not certain it's going to work mixing some some pearl you know white pearl up in, in into the uh, the blues with the hope that some of the iridescent quality or the, the shimmering quality of those wings uh, would happen and I'm just dipping the brush into the powder and uh, spreading it out I don't know if this is a I don't know if this technique has a name. I've never seen it done before, but uh it just seemed like a good idea. That's the look I'm going for right there. Can you see that? 
a little bit of color change. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but the wings of a blue morpho, they're all prismed and you see you see the blues differently as the wing moves. Okay. Still got some work to do on it, but I think this is going to work. All right. And here I'm just adding some darker blue and blending. There we go. There it is. I think you can see that now. All right. That's what I was looking for. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. I sure appreciate you watching.
Semper Fi.